Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a unboxing for you guys and I am here with my purge box for the month of December. And let's go ahead and jump right in and unbox this bad boy. So if you guys wanna see what items are inside, Keep on watching. The Birch Box is playing off the theme that usually beauty subscriptions will go to for the month of December, which is not Christmas, but more so the New Year's New Year's Eve glam. So this is what the box looks like, and it's got looks like what might be fireworks and stuff. Really like the box detailing, even though I usually do with Birch Boxes. But opening it up here, ooh, looks like we have a $10 off coupon code, which is very thoughtful for Birch Box to give during the holiday season. So can't complain about that and it looks like no matter the festive feet planned or the last minute we hope this box helps the spirit of joyful vibes so more or less um anything that's going to kind of prep you for the busy holiday season so can never complain about that here we have all the goodies inside and the first thing it looks like we have here is a bonus product from Birchbox and this is the eyelash curler from Birchbox itself I have been using the same Revlon eyelash curler for literally oh seven years i have had the same eyelash curler for the longest time and it's been my true and faithful so having a backup eyelash curler is always good even though i have my favorite here i can't even it's got this plastic thing on it and i can't open it but i don't oh there it goes <laughs> any easier and it would have just jumped out and bit me so this is the eyelash curler i kind of like it because it has a little bit of the spring on it you can never complain about free gifts and especially one like an eyelash curler which is a huge staple in my makeup routine and it's good to have a backup so definitely excited about that I have a bunch of products in here and this is the item that i chose to pick for myself this month and this is the ceo rapid flash brightening serum from sunday riley and I believe it was in one of my Sephora plays earlier in the year. I received one of the face cleansers from Sunday Riley, was a major fan. So looking at the items I could have chose for myself this month, a lot of them were repeats, which if they're products I like, I wouldn't mind. But unfortunately, a lot of them were items that I wasn't such a big fan so of. that they had this, figured, hey, why not try another product? Because Sunday Riley is a little bit more of the bougier brands, if we will say. It says that this combines vitamins C and E, plus a blend of antioxidants to fade dark spots, tighten pores, and plump skin. So it looks like this is an all-over serum to use on the face, and my skin has been lashing out tenfold this past month, like so much, in fact, that I've been really self-conscious. So anything that's going to help tighten up those acne scar areas that I might have or those dark spots, I'm really excited to test out. So the next item we have here is from Stila. This is the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And this is just a inky black mascara, it says, and this is what the wand looks like. I'm always a big fan of wands when it comes to mascara, especially because if it offers a signature brush, usually the lash outcome is a little bit different. I have actually been trying to cycle through a lot of the mascaras that I previously own, and I'm kind of getting a little complacent with them, trying to find ones that, you know offer different looks and one that's becoming my go-to. I've kind of been cycling through the Marc Jacobs mascara, the, what is it, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and the several mascaras I have from Tarte. Who's to say that I'm not going to love this because I did like the Stila eyeliner that I got a couple subscriptions ago from, I can't even remember. But yeah, always excited to test out mascaras. Next item we have in here is from Wish wish <laughs> the next thing we have inside our birch box is from wish and this is the botanical primer with bakuchio <laughs> and this is um supposed to be just a skin primer so before you put on makeup it's supposed to balance skin protect and moisturize i have used wish products before and i have to admit i hated them <laughs> i used the sugar scrub and the gel inhibiting something or another to kind of stop hair growth um after shaving i like the gel hated the sugar scrub because it plugged it it plugged i hated the sugar scrub because it clogged my razor in the worst way it left a gross film on my legs hated it's it supposed to help with drying skin during the winter my skin has been really dry which is i think part of the problem why my acne has been so bad but needless to say i am excited to test this out i don't know if it's going to have a smell and it looks like it's just pretty clear no real smell to it. 
but needless to say, I have been looking for primers too. Like the mascara, I have been trying to cycle through. Oh, it looks like it's a lot, but it feels like there's a lot of air in the package. So we'll see. In here, we have what looks like a hair product, and this is the Aveda, Aveda uh, Damage Remedy Hair Daily Hair Repair. Why was that so hard to get out? But this is supposed to be um, a hair treatment that's supposed to help repair and help protect and detangle. Um, so hair treatments have been one of those things. Since doing my everyday hair care routine, I've been really lax about doing my hair just because it's getting to that point where it's a little bit longer now. It doesn't need to be as styled as much. And I have always been on the lookout for hair treatments, hair masks, hair oils, etc., whatever the case may be. I like to treat myself with face masks and stuff. Why wouldn't I do the same for my hair? It's a leave-in treatment. It doesn't really have instructions on here. Um, according to our little sheet here, it says that this is just supposed to be worked through a small amount of damp hair, comb through, and then style it however. So this feels pretty hefty. It's 1.4 ounces for the product sample size. So we'll see if this actually works. The last item inside our birch box looks like to be a skin mask and this is the Sand and Sky Brilliant Skin Detoxifying and Brightening Purifying Pink Clay Mask. And that was a mouthful. <laughs> so this is supposed to defox, de defoxify. This is supposed to detoxify and brightening the complexion, which has been something that my skin has just been, uh, I can't even begin to discuss how upset I've been about my skin. For whatever reason, I've been getting really bad acne to the point it is painful along my chin, which I believe has something to do with the hormones. And I don't foresee why I should be having hormonal acne acne at this point in time because I haven't really changed anything too much but it's just been so painful it's been one of those things I've been so self-conscious about and I have been using face masks like it's nobody's business I have really liked the origins retexturizing mask that had the willow herb in it that I did a influencer review on but maybe this is something comparable I really like the aesthetics of this so we'll see I feel like I've seen this on Instagram lately and I can't remember who posted it or who's been doing review on it, but it's one of those masks I've been kind of excited to get my hands on because again, I can't remember what beauty influencer I saw have it on their Instagram, but I have seen this. Pretty excited to test it out and hopefully it does something to combat this problem that we call my face. That was everything that was inside my birch box this month. In all, I think there were a lot of products in there that I might be pleasantly surprised with. I kind of like the idea that they sent me you know, two products skincare wise that might help with the stresses of the holidays, whether it being not the best eating, you know, the late nights, the, you know, the wear and tear we put on our bodies through winter and whatever the case may be. Um, really excited about that. I'm excited to test out that mascara. I think in all this month's box, I would probably give it an A minus at the surface level of things. I am excited to see how these products are going to work out and I will be sure to do a full review over at the blog. You guys can check that out at Life with Sarah or at sarahlock.com. I officially bought myself a domain username and I don't know if there will be another video that will go up before this but be sure to check out the new website which is sarahlock.com, two H's, two K's and I will link all my social media down below too for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's always truly appreciated. Take care. Love you always. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.